feel so out of line every time that you call my name I want to make a move but I'm scared to say it It's taken a while to get this far I'm caught in the way It's taken a lot to get this well, we're out in Corral Bay again today, and I brought a couple of soft plastics with me. The first one is from the Squidgy Pro range, and it is the Squidgy Prawn. It's a fairly big bait. We've got that in the black and gold. I've also picked up a real classic, the Squidgy Wriggler. This one's 120 mil, and it's got a little uh, squirrely tail on the back. Ooh, missed him. That's a good hit too. Yep, no, missed him again. Yep, got him. No. Yep. These are some big hits, but not no hookups. Yep, finally. There we are. That's not too bad size. Yeah. All right. That is just a just a little one. Actually, Buddy's probably just about legal. Uh, he's 27. Yeah. All right. There he is. Just a little one. Let's get him back. And he's off. Now the technique for working soft plastics for flathead is really pretty simple. All you want to do is cast it out, keep an eye on your line, and watch for it to hit the bottom. You'll know when it hits the bottom when you get that belly in the line, which I've just got. Reel it up tight, give it a little, couple little tugs, a little bit of a reel, and then let it hit the bottom again. A couple little tugs, reel up the slack, it's on the bottom again. And that's it. You can vary your retrieve at times, be more aggressive, uh, faster retrieve, slower retrieve, you know bigger tugs but really for the most part the most important thing is that that it's just on the bottom really that's where the flathead are oh there's another one all right, all right. a little, little one there he is just a carbon copy of the last one. All right, buddy. There we go. Yep, got him. Best one yet. It's taken a lot to get this one. Swear one in the same. Chasing colors after dark in your heart. Now that's a much better fish. Alright. Here we go, buddy. Now I'm going to have to change up to a bigger hook for this squidgy prawn. As you can see, the hook I was using on the wriggler would really be too far up the body. And that could create a lot of short strikes where the fish are biting back here and missing the hook. So I pulled this one out. Probably still like something a little bit longer than that, but that's the biggest I've got right now. So we'll have a go with that. And that's how I've got it rigged up. It is a very cool looking plastic. It'd be interesting to see how it works in the water, but yeah, I really like the looks of that.
Well, we tried for hours to get one on the squidgy prawn, but uh, just didn't have any luck. We did have a lot of hits, uh, and I think that that lure really looks good in the water. The paddle tail action is great. In fact, the paddle tail's so supple and just has such great movement that even when you cast it, you can see the paddle tail paddling as it's flying through the air, which is uh, really unique. You don't you don't see that on a, a lot of other plastics out there. I think it was just too big for uh, the size of the fish that are around right now. It's it's much bigger than the uh, the little wriggler that we were using that we caught the first three fish on. Um, I actually think it'd be a great bait maybe for a Murray cod or bigger flathead, but uh, I think the average size of the fish around here right now is just too small for a lure of that size. We were getting a lot of hits on it but nothing would hook up and it's probably because the fish weren't big enough to take the whole thing in their mouth and uh, get that hook set. So, oh well, that was our first failure uh, trying to catch a, a flathead on uh, the lures of the series so far. So, I don't know, not, not too bad.